holy cow, my truck is filthy. But I guess when you live where it's foggy, you can't really ever keep them clean. Anyway, we are going into Target today. And what we're going to try to find is the top keto finds as of right now. Now, the cool thing is Target always rotates the kinds of keto items that they have. They're very big on promotional items. They're very big on what is working. So we're gonna hop on in there. We're gonna see if we can find some new things, new keto treats, or maybe even things that aren't marketed as keto, but will work as such. So let's head on in. We'll make this quick, we'll make it dirty, actually make it clean, and then we'll rock. I just realized that I made the biggest mistake that you can possibly make at Target, which is wearing red. Because when you wear red when you're in Target, everybody stops you, thinks that you work there, or you just kind of blend in. Good news is it means that I camouflaged, and it means that maybe I won't get asked to leave when I'm grocery shopping. So let's go see if we can hunt down some keto items. Nice quiet day at Target, which is always a plus. Usually it's a bit of a madhouse in here, but I've kind of figured out the exact time to go to avoid the people that might kick you out. Area that people often overlook, okay? This is gonna be like the pharmaceutical area that tends to have some halfway decent keto items. So we're gonna take a look and see if there's anything that you should get or anything that you should avoid. Uh, honestly, this would be a six hour video if I went over the things that you should avoid. So let's go highlight some of the positive things and things that you might wanna consider getting. Okay, so there's a couple keto collagen items here. Okay, the first one is Orgain Keto. Now let's take a look at what's on this. Okay, I'll flip this around so you can see. We have collagen peptides, coconut, medium chain triglycerides, organic alkalized cocoa, acacia gum, sea salt, and organic stevia. All is good, but the acacia gum doesn't need to be there. The idea behind the acacia gum is just to give it a little bit more body and to give it a little bit more thickness so it seems like you're getting more in the volume of a scoop, but it causes gastric distress in some people. But if we look at this one that's right next to it, and I'll show you the price in a second. This is this ancient nutrition keto collagen. Take a look at the ingredients in this one. Okay, it's got hydrolyzed bovine hide collagen peptides and median chain triglycerides from coconut. Two ingredients, super clean, and then check out the price difference. Okay, so Orgain, you're paying $29.99. Here you're paying $20.99, but it's also on clearance, but I've noticed it's on clearance at a lot of different targets. So this one, much cleaner, less garbage in it, and at least it notes the source of the collagen, which is very important. We'll take a quick look at protein powders here. Now, Target just started carrying Isopure. I used to really like Isopure, but let me explain something here. Okay, so Isopure is nice because it's a whey protein isolate, which means it's isolating the protein from the actual whey. Now, let me explain why this isn't exactly the best. Um, whey protein isolate, natural flavor, citric acid, stevia leak, and turmeric extract. Okay, natural flavors right there is the second ingredient. Natural flavors are loaded. Okay, there's a lot of natural flavors when it comes down to uh, protein powders. So usually you can be okay with natural flavors a little bit, but in protein powders, they're super loaded with them. So this really inexpensive one, which is $21 right now, is actually even better. Let me explain why. Okay, whey protein isolate, produced from microfiltration technology, crystalline fructose, which is not always the best if you have a ton of it, but this isn't much, Dutch cocoa, okay? Now, Dutch cocoa is better than regular cocoa because Dutch cocoa actually uses a process that adds potassium into it, so that's a much better mix. And then you have non-GMO lecithin, which isn't a big deal. Inulin fiber, not the best thing, but better than having the natural flavors in there. So there's no natural flavors in this one, which makes this one a winner, especially considering when you look at the overall price point, 21 bucks versus 25 bucks and a heck of a lot more in terms of volume. So behind me, we have a million different protein bars. Obviously big business here. I will go ahead and save you a lot of time and effort and let you know that right now, Target does not have the best selection of protein bars. Okay, so I'll show you really quickly, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. I always joke that Quest bars send you on a quest to the toilet because they go right through you. Let's see. Uh, we have a protein blend, milk protein isolate, yeah, right out the gate. Okay, not even whey protein isolate, they start with milk protein isolate. Soluble corn fiber, which isn't the end of the world, but you're going to have gastric distress. Combine that with erythritol, then you have a problem, okay? So, obviously, a lot of different weird things in there, but the big one, sucralose. Okay, studies have demonstrated that sucralose can kill up to 50% of your gut bacteria. Now, all the Quest products are going to be the same in that, and the Quest cookies really throw people off because when you look at the Quest cookies, again, same thing, milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate, soluble corn fiber, and then they're combining that with a bunch of other things, not to mention natural flavors, not to mention all these other calcium caseinates and things that we don't want in there. 
The good news is, at least with the cookies, they use stevia, but all these other things are gonna make it not worth your while. So I don't think there's a whole lot that we can really utilize here as far as the protein bars and cookies go. Okay, now I'm in the cottage cheese in the dairy section. They have a really good quality cottage cheese, but one specific find that I really wanna demonstrate here, it is awesome. Okay, it is this Good Culture 3G stuff. Now this is not ordinary cottage cheese, check this out. So what they've done is they've taken fruit on the bottom style cottage cheese, and they've already got the good ingredients of Good Culture cottage cheese, which is already terrific stuff. But then, look what they're using to sweeten it with. Monk fruit juice concentrate, lemon juice, black carrot, purple carrot, blueberry juice. Live and active culture, so obviously good stuff. Okay, four grams of carbs, three grams of sugar, which is coming from the berries in there, so it's really more like a lower glycemic fructose. So really, really good stuff. Unfortunately, it's not the cheapest, $1.59 for a little thing of it, but I will tell you from experience, this stuff is amazing if you have kids, okay? It's hard to find good, clean things that you feel comfortable giving to your kids. My son, my toddler, loves this stuff. And it's totally keto-friendly and gives you that little sweet treat that you might want. Listen, one of the most important things that you need to remember when it comes down to cottage cheese is the quality, okay? Cottage cheese is pure casein protein. What that means is you run a risk of it being very low quality and causing some serious issues within the body as far as an inflammatory response is concerned. So you are gonna get cottage cheese, you have gotta get the good clean stuff, okay? So good culture is very good in that respect, as well as a lot of the different like A2 casein proteins that you're gonna find in good quality like organic cottage cheese and stuff like that. By the way, a lot of the protein bars and things like that that I've talked about, if you are up in Canada, I highly recommend that you check out Natura. Okay, so I'll put a link down below in the description. They're like Thrive Market, except they're up in Canada. And the reason I mention that is I have about 30% of my audience in Canada. So if you're watching from Canada, you highly, highly, highly would get some benefit out of checking out Natura. Uh, they are a supporter of this channel, but every time I do grocery hauls, I like to mention them because a lot of people in Canada, especially in the winter time, especially if we end up in lockdown, it's hard to go to the grocery store. So I highly recommend you check them out just because they've got a lot of different keto goodies. They've got a lot of different paleo things and things that I would normally talk about on my channel. So check them out down below in the description just to get some really interesting finds. All right, if you're a big yogurt person, I think you're gonna find this one interesting. There's a few things in there that I probably would steer away from, but still as far as keto's concerned, pretty cool little find. Check them out. It's 2G yogurt. Yeah, all these different flavors, similar to the 3G Good culture cottage cheese. Let's just grab a coconut one here, just to see, okay? So it's a yogurt, which is obviously great with probiotics, great in terms of keto and balancing out. Cultured, reduced fat milk, water, yada, yada, yada. Okay, there are natural flavors. There is a little bit of tapioca starch. There are some of these gums and things that hold it together. The nice thing is they're using stevia leaf, okay? Sea salt, vitamin D3, and that, that's really it. So they're not using any sugar. I don't know why more brands aren't doing this. This just makes way more sense. So this is a cool keto find. Every single one, yes, there's a good degree of natural flavors in them, so it's not something you wanna have all the time. And natural flavors are a little bit difficult to identify because some of them are totally fine and some of them are not fine at all. Again, we look at a price point of $1.49, so it's not always the best. Uh, here, you can get a four pack for five bucks, which doesn't save you too much money. And you end up with a four pack of the same flavor. I'd rather just diversify my flavors, try something new. So with natural flavors, it's just a total wild card because natural flavors can be as simple as uh, something that is truly derived naturally, but it can also be something that is what's called an incidental additive where the FDA doesn't necessarily regulate what they put in a natural flavor and it falls under the umbrella of a natural flavor. Sorry, my mask consistently falls off because I have a weird chin. One thing about Target is there's always someone working on every single aisle, always making it a little bit tough. This is something kind of interesting. It's not really keto, but I just noticed that Bonza is making pizza crust now. Bonza is chickpea flour. Let's see what they're doing here. Okay, the crust is chickpeas, water, tapioca, cocoa butter. Dang, that's pretty cool. It's not keto because chickpeas are not keto. But if I was coming off of keto and I just wanted something low glycemic, that'd be a nice little uh, cheat meal or something that's not gonna have a tremendous, terrible impact, right? I'm a fan of seaweed snacks. Okay, there's a lot of benefit to having them on keto just because of the iodine, and that's a trace mineral that can usually get depleted a little bit when you're on keto. So seaweed snacks can be deceiving though. They can be a little bit funny. Let me show you what we got going on here. Now, I like the Gimme brand, okay? It's a good brand, but the nice thing is the Annie Chungs are a little bit better in terms of how they round out the fat profile. Okay, see they have seaweed and they have sunflower oil, which is also what the Gimme has, but they also add sesame oil. Okay, that's nice because at least the sesame oil 
is an omega-6 oil that is going to counteract some of the negative aspects of the organic sunflower oil. The reason I say that is because sesame oil is very rich in specific antioxidants that actually fight off the negative attributes of an omega-6 to begin with. So very, very powerful. I've done specific videos on this. They also add some olive oil. So the point is, is you're not just getting sunflower oil. You're getting sunflower oil, but at least you're getting other oils to balance it out. But you also have some olive oil in there. You also have that rosemary. It's just a better flavor. But these aren't terrible. As long as you get ones that aren't in canola oil, you'll be in decent shape. Now, they're the same price. So which one do you go for? Okay, pretty pricey for a random snack, but still something that's a cool little keto find that you're not gonna find at a lot of other mainstream grocery stores. The nut butter section. I could spend so much time here because there's so much going on. So I'm just gonna hone in on immediately what I will tell you is good and not focus on the bad. I have a tendency to get pessimistic when it comes down to nut butters and it can leave us here for quite a while. You're best to go with the no sugar added sunflower butter. Sunflower butter, word to the wise, is still high omega-6, not the best fat but you compare it to almond, which has virtually no omega-3s whatsoever, or compare it to peanuts, which are a legume, which are definitely not what we wanna have, price-wise, you're gonna be in a good shape. Now, the best one, if price wasn't really an issue, would be to go with like the Maranatha, okay? No sugar, salt added, but that's 10 bucks, okay? We go to the no sugar added sunflower butter, it's only six bucks. Okay, a little bit of a better bargain. What's funny is the non-sugar or the one with sugar is more expensive. I guess it tastes better, so people will demand it. This one, it's more of a neutral taste. Again, everything here is not exactly great, but not truly bad either. And you start getting down to the uh, peanut butters and stuff. I would say, generally speaking, I'm much more of a fan of going with like a macadamia nut butter or something like that, because technically macadamia nuts are a seed, and technically they have like practically zero omega-6 profile. Super cool keto find alert. All right, Sir Kensington's, which is already awesome, but check this out. This is an avocado vegan mayo, which means if you're trying to keep it super clean, you don't even want eggs in the mix, we've got avocado oil, we've got aquafaba, which is water and chickpeas more or less, uh, this one does have coconut sugar, so it's going to be a little bit of carbs in it simply because of that, but still we're talking one gram of carb versus zero. Look at the ingredients of that. Acacia gum, sunflower oil, not the best, but at least avocado oil is the first ingredient. Now, if you compare that to their classic mayonnaise, their classic mayonnaise, first ingredient is sunflower oil, then we get into eggs. Now, they do have an avocado oil one, which I think they're just out of stock, but this is an avocado oil vegan one. Pricey but pretty darn cool for people that might be doing vegan keto or just want to lessen the amount of eggs that they're taking in just because maybe they have an issue with the sulfur uh, from a gastric perspective or something like that. I feel like the condiment section is always where you find some really interesting stuff. And I know that they have, yeah, here it is. So you catch it. This is cool. Yeah, yes, there's a couple carbs in it per tablespoon, but you really don't want to have more than a tablespoon. This is unsweetened ketchup and you would think it would taste awful, but it tastes amazing. You don't need to have sweetener in it. That's a really good little keto find and I'm impressed that Target has it. You may not think that you're gonna find anything on the cereal aisle, but you might be surprised. So right now I'm in the pancake section and there's some fun keto options here that I didn't know were here before. So $5.99 for Birch Benders Keto Pancakes, but better yet, now they have chocolate chip keto. Six grams of net carbs. Let's see what we got in it. Almond flour, okay, eh, not the biggest fan of almond flour, but it's all good. Uh, no added sugar. And then we've got dark chocolate chips, unsweetened chocolate, a little bit of erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, sunflower less than eggs, tiger nut flour. Yeah, that is clean, clean, clean. You just add water to these things. I do like their pumpkin spice one. If you're not doing keto, that's a really good option. But if you're gonna go keto and you're gonna splurge and you're gonna, or excuse me, if you're gonna have pancakes, you're gonna splurge, you might as well go with the chocolate chip one. There's only one gram of net carbs more and they just taste delicious. So this is a really cool keto find. I haven't seen any other keto ones. Kodiak Cakes doesn't make them. Purely Elizabeth doesn't make them. It's pretty much just a birch benders thing. I think they're the only ones that have nailed it. The paleo pancakes come out way better than the keto pancakes in my opinion. So if you're gonna cheat, go for the paleo ones. But if you're trying to stay keto, just have two or three of the keto ones. A little find in the sweetener aisle. They have uh, pure via stevia liquid, which is, ooh, never mind. Okay, so this is almost caught me. Stevia than erythritol. I always try to find pure stevia because normally, here's what happens. Look at this. You get like the boxes of stevia. What are the ingredients? First ingredient is dextrose, then stevia. So you're still spiking your insulin plus natural flavors. Uh, okay, I promised I wouldn't focus on the negative, so let's just move on. Not a whole lot in the way of good sweeteners. Even organic stevia in the raw still is stevia in the 
What? Organic cane sugar, first ingredient, then stevia. That is full on BS. I'm sorry, that is not cool at all. That is false advertising. They put it right there, organic stevia blend. <laughs> Come on. I'm a fan of cooking with ghee, so it's nice to see some good quality uh, ghee here. Okay, no milk solids, just straight up butter fat. Really good stuff. Uh, nice to see it because you usually used to have to just go to like a specialty store to find it, so it's kind of nice to see it here. Uh, man, I look at myself and I see the circles in my eyes. I'm tired today. I was up all night with Emma, who's five months old, and Tommy, who is three months old. Or, sorry, three years old. See, I can't even remember that. Uh, fortunately, all this nutrition stuff is ingrained in my brain, so don't have to remember a lot of that. It's just who I am. But anyhow, sorry that you have to look at me right now. Oils at Target. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Let's go find some more little hidden gems. Surprisingly, found something in the cookie cracker aisle. Um, kind of a cool keto find. It's not my favorite cookie, but still, check it out. It's like high key made the cut. I didn't know they were in retail, so that's kind of cool. Um, I prefer Fat Snacks. Fat Snacks has like these little mini cookies that are, in my opinion, much better. Uh, almond flour, uh, erythritol, monk fruit, stevia, coconut oil, butter, cream, dried eggs. I mean, overall, it's decent ingredients. Two ounces for four bucks. Not the greatest price that you're going to find in retail, but totally keto friendly. That's actually going to work. Let's see what the uh, net carbs are. Okay, so it says total carbs. Um, yeah, so erythritol six. Yeah, so we're looking at nine grams minus six from the erythritol. It's three, two fiber, one gram net carbs. Yep, it says right on keto certified. So again, it's not at eye level, which means they're just getting into the store. Usually when they're up top or down low, it means they're trying to earn their way through that to get to that quote eye level right here so that people see it, but still a good find. I'm happy to see that Target is opening up to some more keto options there. I've always been more of a fan of fat snacks just because they're, I don't know, the OGs and they've done it right. Okay, now check this out. Found another goodie. We've got Parm Crisps. Uh, I would take Parm Crisps or Parmesan Wisps over these other flavors because Parmesan is aged and it's going to be better in terms of the type of protein that's going to be in it just simply because it's aged. But then we also have these Good & Gather Target brand $3.19. Now these are on sale. Normally $3.69, but two for six right now, but these are $3.19. And we've got Parmesan cheese. We've got cheese cultures, the typical stuff, except yeast extract. Not a big fan of that. Yeast extract is basically MSG, which means it's lighting your brain up. Yeast extract triggers sort of a glutamate response in your brain, which makes it so that your brain thinks something tastes better, so you want to eat more of it. Not the end of the world. We see it in a lot of products, but I don't know. Let's see what's in the Parm Crisps. Yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer. Aged Parmesan cheese. Uh, yeah, definitely a no-brainer that Parm Crisps are going to be the cleanest Target Keto little treat option here. One ingredient. You can't really beat that. Shame on that good and gather. You didn't have to do that. You could compete with Parm Crisps and just be clean. You would think the nut aisle would be Keto Haven. Turns out a lot of the nuts that they have here are, well, kind of nuts. Not exactly what we want to have. Uh, I found something really interesting a couple weeks ago and was greatly, greatly turned off. Check this out. I found these salt and pepper roasted macadamia nuts. And I thought, holy cow, this is so cool. I love salt and pepper flavor. Well, check it out. Macadamia nuts, sea salt, black pepper, then vegetable oil, peanut, cottonseed, and soybean oil. Really? You take oh, macadamia nuts have, they are so low in omega-3s and so low in omega-6s, but very, very high in omega-7. So point is, if you're going to overeat a nut, it's going to be macadamia nuts because they have a good fat profile. Then all of a sudden you roast them in this vegetable oil and it turns into total garbage. Compare that to this operative word here on this one, dry roasted macadamia nuts. That means that they're just roasted dry. So look at the ingredient profile of this one. Macadamia nuts and sea salt, they're dry roasted, that's it. Okay, no weird oils in it, no weird soybean oil, which is a polyunsaturated fat, which is just absolutely going to be denatured and terrible, but you still get the clean macadamia nuts. So that one's disappointing. This one, still good to go. I thought that I was about done, but I did see this new stuff, this super coffee from a company called Kitu. Uh, let me show you this stuff. Okay, so zero added sugar, 200 milligrams of caffeine, so quite a bit of caffeine. They've got mocha, hazelnut, and vanilla. Uh, I'm sure it's hazelnut flavor, not actual real hazelnut, but here we have Colombian coffee, whey protein. Oh man, I wish it was whey protein isolate. Concentrate has a little bit of other funky ingredients. Coconut MCT oil, monk fruit, natural hazelnut flavor, natural maple, fla maple flavor, natural flavor, potassium phosphate, gel and gum. Okay, green coffee caffeine. That's cool. They add some extra caffeine, uh, caffeine via green coffee. Um, 
Psyllium mocha. So this is interesting, milk protein isolate. And this one has whey protein concentrate. And this one has milk protein isolate. Dude, that's a tough one. Okay, so if I had to choose between whey protein concentrate and milk protein isolate, I would probably go for the whey protein concentrate. So the hazelnut flavor is gonna be the flavor to go for. Uh, let's see, it does have MCT oil, which is added to it, which is cool. Only one gram of net carb. This is pretty neat. Definitely a big caffeine kick though. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of good stuff as far as energy drinks and coffee for you guys. Well, that's about it. That's all I could really find as far as like good little surprise keto treats that are here at Target. But we'll do plenty more of these videos. In fact, I'll do another video where I come back into Target and do a more full haul and show you the kind of things that I would get for clean keto, Mediterranean keto, all that stuff. I'm gonna go buy a couple of things that I got in my cart and I will see you in the next video.